It was nearly two weeks ago that a man was hit in the arm by a stray bullet fired from a Grand Haven Township gun club, and since then, residents have found nearly a dozen bullets lodged in their homes. They want the gun club to take action to guarantee their safety. Tonight, they took that issue before the township board. 24 Hour News 8's Mark Thompson was there. Rifle and pistol shooting operations continue to be suspended here at the gun club, and nearby Cutter Park residents say they will not let this issue rest until they can be assured that their children and property are safe. The problem now is identifying the best course of action moving forward. Rounds are repeatedly leaving the property. I will not be shot at. We're not complaining about nuisance noise. One by one, Cutter Park residents expressed their frustrations to the Grand Haven Township Board. If it had been a child that had been shot, would we be here today? Bottom line, someone was shot. They have now mapped out 11 homes struck by stray bullets, presumably originating from the North Ottawa Rod and Gun Club. Ottawa County Sheriff's investigators have concluded some of the rounds were fired by members of the GVSU Department of Public Safety during a five-man training exercise on September 29th, one of the bullets striking a contract worker in the arm. The air rounds were caused uh, by where the particular targets were placed. Criminal consideration is now in the hands of the prosecutor's office, but when it comes to more permanent action, township officials say in many ways their hands are tied. The only legislation regulating outdoor shooting ranges is the 1989 Sport Shooting Ranges Act and the Michigan Zoning Enabling Act. But for the most part, these laws address noise issues, not stray bullets. And since the gun club has been around since the 1940s, most of their current operations are grandfathered in. In fact, township officials say right now, no municipality, local, county, or state has the authority to shut them down. I don't even know if the, as a township board, that we may have or may not have the power to do that. Moving forward, Grand Haven may look to an agreement similar to what Ada Township has with the Kent County Conservation League Gun Club. There's a park and homes nearby, but this club is regulated by an Ada Township ordinance established in 1975. The ordinance regulates time of day, noise, distance from neighborhoods, and range configurations must meet NRA source book guidelines. Township officials are drafting a letter to the gun club requesting cooperation, and they hope that they get it because if not, they say they'll have no choice but to take legal action to get the situation resolved. Reporting from Grand Haven Township, Mark Thompson, 24-Hour News 8.